So I guess we'll start over here in this corner. These are all gifts and things that I've received from Cheers to the Ears swaps that I belong to from friends, crafty friends, except for the Cabbage Patch doll. My sister bought me that years ago. That's my adult Happy Meal. I picked up one and my toy is in there and I did get the Hamburglar. I didn't open the toy. So these are just different things that I've won, all prizes that I've won. I won that bag. I won all those pops that's under it. And then this is just some random things. This is just some bags. And this is a mirror that I created in a challenge, a collaboration. This is diamond painting things. This is Dollar Tree tie-dye. This is my diamond painting toolkit. This is a, I ordered a case of Dollar Tree calendars one year, picked it up from the store. It came in this box. So I just covered this in some Dollar Tree tacky paper. And so it just houses just different things in here, different piece of paper, 12 by 12 envelopes, uh, folders. This is some plexiglass and some poster board, job poster board. These are some envelopes and glassine bags that my some of my crafty friends have sent me. Some fragile labels, some just bags. These are some stickers, washi stickers. This is just a, some extra notebooks and things. My budget, cash stuffing budgeter. If you can see back here, that is my travel case for my Cricut. There's some USPS flat rate boxes back there. And these are my LED light pads. There's three of them there. And here is all of my beads, cabochons. Everything is labeled in order. These are more like for holidays. And then these are gems, just different gems. It's my paper shredder, my tool bag, my Cricut heat press, my large one. And then here is 12 by 12 paper pads. These are new, so they're not labeled yet. These are all labeled. This one, this one, this one, all clear. These three clear cases are fall and Christmas. So these were, you know, they were brown, like you put hats on them or things like that. So I had some spray paint them for me. And then I put the gems on there and I just decided to hang tag flips or tags that people send me or, you know, I receive in swaps or something on there. I needed some place to hang them. These are paint brushes. If you have not tried these on glass, they work well on like ceramic and glass. These are my ink blending brushes. I do not have Copics. Someday, maybe, I hope to. Uh, so these are, it's like a $20, $30 set there. These are some five and below markers. These are, I think these are Spectrum Noir glitter. They are sparkle pens. These are Spectrum Noir markers these are crayola so like if you write it's silver and blue on the edge these are my cricut pins here and here um these are some glitter cricut pins these are for like calligraphy these are Spectrum Noir spray bottles and brush water brush for watercolors. These are glass bottles, Dollar Tree glass bottles. All of those Dollar Tree like pieces of wood cutouts. I think this one is empty. Yeah, that's empty. I got these signs at Michael's. 
craft room, be the maker. I bought this at a uh, craft sale. It was a paper crafting sale up in Pittsburgh. And it was different colors like blue, green, red, yellow. And so we painted it. My husband spray painted it white and then I painted these. So these are just some Spectrum Noir inks, some beads, some glitter stickles, little glitter. These are some threads, some decorative scissors. These scissors are amazing. They are so super sharp. These are just some distress inks. These are just some different inks in here. I think these are all pretty new in here. These are just pads, blenders, acrylic stamp blocks. So these are just different inks in here, embossing inks distracts oxides, stays on, it's just different inks that I use, that we all use, right? I'm going to change this. I'm going to get one of those ink things, or I'm going to make one. I'm not sure yet, but this isn't working out so well, so this has to be changed. There's my crayons, coloring pencils, watercolors, paint tray. This is pocket letters. This is some jelly sheets burlap sheets this is carbon cup carbon paper these are all of my doilies and in this whole thing is doilies in here this room is not perfect i still have a whole lot of, of organizing to do this is some tim holtz things a phone book a catalog for cincy this is the prize box right here maggie holmes prize box i'm still adding things to this these are six by six paper pads, six by eight paper pads, some ephemera that go with these paper pads. Just some pastel patterns, just all different six by eight paper pads. And then this is the same, just all six by six by eight paper pads that's what all these are and i'm sure y'all know these i don't know where else you get these but i got these all from all these came from joann's these are just all of my project planner cards frames we are memory these are planner dreamy this whole set is dreamy back here kiwi honey slate just my type and then this is my maggie holmes collection right here these were some chipboard that came in something that we put together might have been one of these and i just kept all that and i used my brother label maker and i just labeled all those this is cinnamon i don't know the name of this one so it was left blank favorite things american crafts hi sunshine i wasn't sure of this name so it's not labeled dazzle childhood recipe cards good times and this one is azure 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 so these are all my project life cards i love these containers there's another of those and there's some tag flips and then some things that one of my friends made me these are my rubber stamps which I don't have very many of. I prefer silicone, but the ones that I do have are all organized in these shoe boxes. Got these from Hobby Lobby on sale for $2.99 a piece. These are all flowers and fruits. Faces like girls and boys. And then this is Christmas and fall. This is where I store all my punches. All in this big container here i got this from joanne fabrics i get a lot of my stuff from joanne's it's my favorite store these are all my stickers pretty much organized flowers all these are flowers 
These are all butterflies. Birthday. These are like nautical um, hearts. These are all like summer, summery, summer vacation. And then the, these are all holiday, Val starting with Valentine's to Easter to, you know, just holidays. It's getting a little dark over here. This is a container. I bought this at Hobby Lobby. This is completely packed. So this is just like for Happy Mail, like, you know, packing things up for Happy Mail, envelopes, bags, these type of bags here. These types of bags. Then this comes out. You just, I can't remember what the name of these bags are. They're escaping my mind right now. This is just all for Happy Mail, packaging for Happy Mail, or prize mail, or, you know. Let me just slide it back in there. This is some of that chipboard I was telling you. Something I ordered, this kept it safe and divided, so I kept all of it, and this is what I cut to organize all my Project Life cards. And now I'm gonna make a memory dex um, card holder with this. This is all of my clear stamps. These need to be put away. These are, I got these from AliExpress, some from AliExpress, some from Timu. And then they just had these bags. You can, they're pretty good. These need to be organized for holidays. This is a little thicker, but it won't be once I organize. So I just put them all in here, one to the front, one to the back. And ones with dies, they all go in here that they have stamps and dies together. Here's just a couple extra pages. I have two more back here, and then I have for the bigger stamps, I bought these binders off Amazon and these bags off Amazon, and then you can just put way more in here. And then these, these are my more expensive stamps, like my Gorgeous Girls, Peachy King, um, Julie Nutting, and then some more with dies. Then these are just extra inserts that I keep right here. This is my small, Maggie Holmes collection right here. Just all my ephemera, little different things, paper clips. These are all stickers, stickers, stamps, ephemera packs, stickers, charms. Paper clips. And then here's all the six by eight paper pads, some loose paper, then the 12 by 12 paper pads, project pads. I don't have a lot of the older ones. I wish I did.
So these are chipboard, chipboard here, and just some loose, loose 12 by 12s, all Maggie Holmes. And then these are just more of collection, coffee, Vicki Booten collection. Let's get crafty and doodle bug crafty. Paige Evans, squeeze the day favorite favorite right here i've been trying to get some more of this but i can't find it just a paper studio just different things in here same with here this is like foiled paper foiled paper vellum cut aparts this is all mixture of different paper um here's some different paper pads prima i don't have very much prima that's some christmas paper there these are all just like flower, background paper, fairy. Everything is pretty much labeled. Chip, chipboards, plain, solids, gingham. Just different, just different things there. Down here, this is all t-shirts to make for Cricut. This is just more just mixtures of things for just DIYs glasses glass frames just wood frames different pieces of wood just things for DIYs picture frames just all different kinds of goodies <laughs> For DIYs, I do enjoy DIYing. That's what I started out with until I fell in love with paper crafting. Look at all these houses. <laughs> when I would buy anything, it would be, I can't even tell you how many. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 15 of those there. And this is all my ribbon storage. Try to call a color coordinate it but some is some isn't the run over there's run overs as you can see laying on the shelves this is mainly holiday over on this end too this is all crepe paper that runs clear back there and then as you can see these are just longer ones two there's four two on this side two on this side they go clear back my printer uh, this is cardboard that i save for atcs to wrap trim this is all um heat transfer vinyl vinyl that's in sheets and scraps and this is all tissue paper things just for packaging happy mail shred all that type of stuff these are alphabets wooden alphabets were just different things to craft with that's all letters remember when they were selling them at the dollar tree i just stocked up and stocked up just different just different things in here these are all con different containers for different things that i have saved there's those candy containers just different containers for swabs, for the three drawer swabs, happy mail, just different things that you may need. These are all napkins for decoupaging, napkin swaps. Same here, all napkins. It's a project I'm working on for somebody. These are all handmade cards that I have made or others have made and left them blank for me to save and use. That's what all these are. And I plan on stocking up some cards and uh, making, filling this up. And these are just candy jars from Hobby Lobby. It's just a big vase with some pom-poms in it. This is from the Dollar Tree, and I just fill it up with like all the little wooden cutouts. This is just an overflow of things. Uh, that's um, like the little binders for my uh, scrapbook I'm making for my puppy. These are the Hobby Lobby sacks. 
these are just little boxes other little sacks just little things for goodies same here some lunch sack little bags some jar bags and then that's empty and you can see the ribbon goes clear over here i found this one at hobby lobby on clearance so i don't know what exactly what it was for but i knew i wanted to use it for ribbon and then so my husband built me two more like it and it still wasn't enough so he built this great big long one to go underneath here and it is perfect for my crepe paper up here <laughs> i'm not buying any ribbon for a long time <laughs> like i said back here you can see down here this is behind the door this is just uh, wrapping paper brown craft paper to wrap mail you know packages going out just anything that's a roll saved paper towel rolls back here is a over the door hook and this is where i keep my cricket mats and you come around here and this is the front of the door and then this came from michael's and this is all my rolls of stencil vinyl heat transfer vinyl for a crick my cricket um mesh transfer tape this is my granddaughter's craft desk she comes up there's a try i store my trash bags in there it's the hallway and then these two shelves those came from hobby lot or not hobby lobby target if y'all remember those shelves from target these are all my pins diamond stamens <laughs> safety pins some other different wood cutouts, just different things. These are like summer wood cutouts. Those can go in that box over there. I made those lanterns, a napkin challenge. My grandkids made me those little wooden, painted those, those are from Dollar Tree and they painted those. These are some buttons my friend got me. These are those gems from a Dollar Tree. And then these are some more of my more expensive washi tapes they're just up here then there's my tv i don't hardly watch it but during football season i do turn the game on listen to it while i'm crafting up here this came from hobby lobby this stand did and in here is just different things food picks candle wicks that metal the metal ribbons from dollar tree these are some things I picked up on clearance at Walmart and over here is just binder rings different sizes of binder rings collars toothpick googly eyes this is a refill but the tape dispenser broke some suction cups magnet things for the wall some modeling clay just little odds and ends in here some home signs these are just some notebooks some already made note notes this is all different strings and things what's that called oh baker's the twine baker's twines same thing here all oh, bankers baker's twines this is just a, a book i found at the dollar at the goodwill music book i plan on coffee dyeing those and just different meshes same thing here this is cheesecloths same thing in there some mesh twines these are some different how-to books books for junk journals just different things like that magazines this is where i keep my cardboard i save all my cardboard put it in there and then I'll, when i save a few boxes i cut it up put it in that 12 by 12 over there or i cut it up for a tw for a trim stat you know storing trim this is just a tote of things that i'm working on for a swap my mom got me this card a long time ago so even though it doesn't really match i keep it <laughs> because i love it these are just straws chalk writers just different paint brushes pens all kinds of pens back there just junk but stuff i can't get rid of you know painter markers chalk writers 
purchase things. And then in the top drawer here is my Park Lane um, cardstock. This is 110 pound. These are to hang ears on, Mickey Mouse ears. This is all printer paper, different color printer paper, sponges, containers with lids, pens that I just can't throw away, ink that came with my printer, but you can't use because you have to use their, their refillable ink. Just different things. These are just uh, stencils down here. Thank you stickers, uh, albums that some friends made me some cutouts for glue, swapping glue, batteries, crayons, some little notebooks. I plan on making some of these for different holidays, some knobs. These are all of your beautiful Memdex cards. I'm just putting them there because I'm going to make a holder. And then this is just some folders, teddy bears, and some food picks. These are ears that I received in Cheers to the Ears swaps. They're all hanging there. Some are handmade, some are store bought. Here's the other side. And that's a headband waiting to be made. And that's a towel that I received from a crafty friend. And this is my pegboard. My husband hung for me. As you can, this is, it's very, it's that whole size of that whole wall there. And it goes down to the bottom, but I <laughs> needed this space. So I couldn't use that all. So these are window cleanings. These are just longer things that I really can't store anywhere, but they hang up here. Different flowers, prima flower, bunch of different stickers, you know, just things. These are all those planners, bows. There's my sandwich for my Big Shot. That's for making t-shirts, some Tim Holtz things, just some bows, alphas, buttons. This is all of my button collection. This is my trims, all labeled by collar and collar coordinated in here. Says wrap trims that won't fit on these. This is seam binding, seam binding, just different trims, all coordinated. All the collars are here. And I just stack these on top of each other. These are my, this is what I, how I store my dies. I will link this in the description. These are the best magnet sheets and um, envelopes to store your dies in. I have I have bought many and have never found magnet sheets this thick and sturdy. I can't remember what millimeter they are, but they are good. These are stickers for your postal workers. This is happy mail tape. Just tape for happy mail packages. This is all of my bigger tools. This is just different thing. <laughs> this is stuff for my pegboard. This is foam, craft foam, kid foam, funny foam. And this is polyfill. And then this is for my cheers, next cheers to the ears box. All my washi tape. My house is very old, 1923. So these walls have seen better days, but this room was like a yellow. I'm gonna put some before pictures in here. All right, and this is all goodies that I've received from Crafty Friends. All up here on this shelf. I love everything I've ever received from anybody. And this is my cork board. I ordered from Amazon. I painted it that rose gold. These are some things I like to look at. So I keep out on top of here. Those are my first twinchies. There's just some bows that some crafty friends made me. These are some things. My first rosette. There's my big shot. I keep it on here and then I keep it on this piece of wood and I can just pull this piece of wood out. It's still very sturdy. And then pull in that way my pads do not hit the wall. And this is all of my what is this called? Fabrics. Fabrics. And I just rolled them all, stuck them in this 
basket and that is my two containers of yarn down there and this is how i store my dies let me get a little bit i know it's not the best lighting in here i had to do this at nighttime my husband was sitting with the puppy this is how i store my dies two of these containers came from scrapbook.com two came from joann's so i labeled all of these but all of the stickers the labels stay up so they are frames and borders and then these are birthday balloons balloon confetti so if i'm looking for something in this general area then i will just pull the whole stack out and see what i need these are like fun shapes and odd shapes and then if i need to get down here i just well normally i have two hands so I will just pick that up there and then get under here. And then these are banners, pockets, envelopes, trim holders, um, eyelash, convo, bubbles, just different things in there, rosettes are in here 3d boxes frames and borders and circles back here which is a lot and i do have i did buy two more containers so i am going to redo these to make more space in here these are words numbers bag toppers and tags food fruit coffee teacups back here fairies and girls um that should be back there uh oh something happened here <laughs> what are we doing here yeah somehow these got put in here they should be back here so these are girls stamp and die set which that should be over there with the stamps girls girls girl glasses lipsticks perfumes butterflies and bees and then then under here we have flowers leaves Halloween, Christmas, spring, Easter. So I don't have a whole, whole lot of dyes, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. So these, this works for me for now. Under here, we have ATC binder, pocket letter binder, sequins. This is all my sequins and sprinkles to make sequins mixes. These are my cellophane bags. This is my everything for wax seals. This is my snaps, discs, and um, eyelets, and jewelry making tools. This is my heat gun and fuse tool some notebooks this is a bunch of daiso stuff that i had paid somebody for and for shipping and they sent this to me and some of it was gifted to me these are those dollar tree containers i snatch these up whenever i see them they are perfect see-through i do plan on labeling these Soon. these are just different odds and ends wood pieces wood rounds lights this is all calendars <laughs> calendars and notebooks this is my closet i made that little sign up there this closet i made over it i'm going to insert some before it's a mess somewhat but 
So that's all wood pieces up there. Those are all artificial flowers and that big flower pot back there. Wood pieces, wreaths, things for DIYs. This is all for Happy Mail. All clear back there. Just things to send out for Happy Mail. In those containers here, these are some wood things to work with. Little pouches. So these are like for mailing. Bubble mailers, Amazon bubble, bubble things that I keep. These are just some things that I haven't put away yet. The extra storage containers. That's all envelopes, paint. The top drawer is all glue guns, glues. The second drawer is all tape. The bottom is envelopes. Those are all different types of tape. That's foam sheets back there. That is boxes that I keep for to, to mail things. Those are, what was back there? That's all the cards I've received from y'all in that container. This is Happy Mail that is being sorted and packed to go. These are just some extra things here. These are just extra storage containers and boxes. That's my diamond paintings. These are my carts. This has my stuff for my stamping. Cleans my stamps. Some one of them seed beads, micro seed, polymer clay bits, glue. These are glue refills and glue. These are all embossing powders in here. My embossing or static tool. These are all flocking powders, pops of collar, punches, new, the new lid for my, my art glitter glue, hole punches. Glossy accents. These are all liquid pearls. These are all shimmer sprays. All through here, shimmer sprays, liquid pearls, enamel dots, stickles. This all stickles. Some Nuvo drops, which I don't have a whole lot of those things. These are just some of my tools. Water spray for embossing folders. This is where I keep my cutting pads and my extended cutting pads this is all my dew drop collection right here these are just empty containers and some pony beads I'm going to melt down these are some guest checks some journals I made a tag some some tags some people made me oh I can hang those up that's what's under there this is my sewing kit. Just different sewing things in here. And this is my sewing cart. <laughs> and it still has my, my birthday present, which was in February. <laughs> in here, I plan on getting that out this next week and learning how to use it. But I got this cart. It's $100 on walmart.com, but I got it for $50 on a group thing that I belong to, um, Sweet Dills Finders. So this comes out here, you lift this up, and then this door goes under it and holds this up there. My husband cut this piece of wood out for me, put some like indoor outdoor carpet on it, and then I bought the desk, the floor chair mat, and that way I can move around my desk easily. And then here is my desk. And it's in an awkward position, as you can see. There's not much room over there to move, but I wanted to be able to, this is where I craft and film everything. So I wanted to be able to see out my window when I craft. Here's my gooseneck. So just different things on this desk. This I bought at the Goodwill. It was black and yucky. And so I brought it home and I cleaned it and we spray painted it. My husband spray painted it for me. And so I keep all my embossing folders because this is all I have right here. This is my embossing folders in here. And this cider dies that I plan on using soon uh, for some upcoming things that I'm doing. Some dies that won't fit. And then the taller um, Tim Holtz rosette. is just pins, scissors, things, um, my personal, my stamps that I um, 
can stamp my name on the back of things. Alcohol, I spray my hand. Lip gloss in case my lips get dry. These are just little different measuring tapes, a hole punch, a replacement blade for my scoreboards, the glue remover, some, some postage stamps, just some little odds and ends in this basket over here, my glue and my sweeper, some nail polish, some lotion, just different things. My Cricut is over here so it can be to, connected to my laptop. This is the best setup I come up with. Just, um, these are some beads I just bought. This is just some different scraps of paper, cardboard, just things that I wanna use up first. My planner. These are some envelopes of addresses that I wanna send some happy mail to soon. Under here, these are my desk mats. I just keep them over here until I wanna use them. That is a Crafter's Companion stamping platform. This has wheels. It comes out here. So this is just a container that things need to be put up or used. This is a magazine I just got. Some notebook, paper, a stamping magazine, all kinds of stamping um, tips and stuff in there. Let's see what else is on here. <laughs> uh, this is some address labels, things like that. My mini heat press, my label maker, my thermal printer and paper, a digital camera that I have yet to learn how to use, a wood burning tool set. Oh, that's my selfie stick. And these are my scoreboards, my cutting board, some my envelope punch tag punch this makes a bag punch this is all of my ephemera in here all of those suitcases scrap paper <laughs> i need to do something with that scrap paper these are paper that i'm working with now that i don't want to put away these are my staplers my mini attacher clips, cards, ink pens. These are all of my brads. These are some different decorative paper clips and things. I don't have very many brads, but some little keychains, some rubber bands, a pencil sharpener. I use these so much, even on paper crafting. White out, some Tylenol because we craft through the pain. <laughs> Some refills for my tiny attacher. They are um, push pins for my cork board. Some chargers for my Bluetooth speaker. These binder, these clips for like clipboards. These large paper clips. Or band that belongs on there. These are little magnets. Refill blades for my trimmer which i never use that trimmer i don't like that trimmer uh, refill blades for my exacto knife just just different things this is like all my jewelry making stuff for uh, dangles and things like that just full of those types of things that is it this is where i sit and i craft and I look at all the beautiful things that people have sent me and I look at all of my stuff because this is my happy place. Now, this is probably the cleanest this room has been and guess what I get to do? Craft and mess it all back up again. So if you can relate, please hit that like button. Maybe consider subscribing to my channel. I'd love to have you and get to know you. I appreciate y'all watching this video. Just an overview of over here.
Oh, my friend made me that sign there too. Thank you for coming to my craft room and I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much.